morning guys okay I'm back to give you a quick video and just to let you know where I've been and what I've been up to because um, I haven't made one for so long it's been ages and ages so as a few of you know my mum's been really poorly um, so she's been in and out of hospital so what I've been doing is looking after looking after her um, she's now actually moved in with me so um, it's been very hectic so trying to get everything organized and also trying to move her out of her house um, so um, today um, my other half is downstairs and he's going to watch her for a little bit so I can quickly do a video for you so I have been making bits and pieces to go on in my Etsy shop um, when I've got five minutes but I've not had time to or even think about what to do for a video for you so I've been making these little hearts as little embellishments um, for some of my little pocket packs um, in my Etsy, Etsy shop so they're little um, just paper clips um, and I thought they were really really cute so I thought I'd just give you a quick little tutorial on how I've made these so look we've got here this one and then on this one we've got some decoupage napkin on there and little bits and pieces so you can use all your odd um, bits of fabric um, and little bits of fabric to make bows um, and little odds of your, your napkins that you've been using bits of card um, and on here here look so this is just a very very basic one which is a bit of card a bit of muslin and another little decoupage piece of this is tea stain paper which I've just decoupaged with um, which napkin have we got this little napkin here look so that's just the, the script off there so that's what we've done on this one on that one and then on this one I've just got a, like a piece of string and some lace bit of muslin and I've actually printed on the back of that one stamped on the back of that one and you just layer them up and they're great so you can put them on, on your books you can pop them on little gifts and um, if you're giving somebody a little gift you can pop them on the little bag little gift bags I think they just make a nice little embellishment and that's one of my little fabric roses that I've made which is just um, twisting around some fabric and gluing it down so there we go, so I'm going to just give you a quick demo on how I did these. So let me just pop those over there. What I used was, let me get it here, which is my big Sizzix die. So this is the heart Sizzix here, look. Um, so you've got three um, hearts to, print, to pop out. So I've used the largest one and the smallest one. Um, I think this one is the medium one here, look. But on the big ones, I've just used the large one and then the small one um, but you can use any heart die or any shape you don't have to use a heart you can use different shapes and it's just just showing you how you can sort of like layer different different fabrics um, inside so what I've got here um, I've got a piece of card to put on the back just to make it a little bit more sturdy and these ones are actually um, mulberry paper so it's like handmade paper here look which I've just printed out and I think it just looks really nice um, this is just tea stain paper here so what I'm going to do I'm going to take so we need a large heart we need um, a paper heart so two large hearts and a small heart okay so and one's cards just so it makes it a little, little bit harder a bit sturdier so what I'm going to do let's have a look Let's get my ink out. Let's give it a quick ink up around the edges. So it just doesn't really matter which side you use. I just inked around the edges just to give it that vintage shabby look that I like. There we go. And then again on the smaller one. This is this is the tea stain paper I'm using on this one. Um, and it's Easter Sunday today so th this morning I did have time to go out into the garden because we've got beautiful sunny weather, weather here in Portugal at the moment although normally in April we have April showers it's normally quite wet so you never know we might have a bit of a thunderstorm later um, so I did manage to do a big pile of tea stain paper so I'm really really pleased with that um, so on here look I've got um, this is um, some cheesecloth which I've just tea stained on here and that's another piece here um, and I actually dyed that with my crepe paper 
dies that I make that I made I do have a video on it so what I'll do is I'll pop a link below um, on how I did the the, the um, dies for that so it's very very easy to do that and then I've just got some little odds and odds little bits of fabric there so what I'm going to do I will print on here look I've got some of my little slip and stamps and a bit of stays on So what I will do, I'll just give it a quick print around the edges. There we are. I won't do the top one because what I will do with that one is um, pop a little bit of... This is a fantastic napkin. I love these. My mother-in-law got me these and they're just scripts and they are, they just, I use them all the time. They're just so versatile. Um, for everything. So I'll just take a bit of that off here. Oops. And I'll just do sort of just a little half bit. So a little glue stick out. It's a little bit manky, isn't it, this one? Well used. These are. Pop that on there like that. And you can see this. And pop this. And then like so. Okay. I'll just trim around the outside. Just make it look a bit neater. This seems to feel a bit strange making a video because I haven't done one for so long. Um, and I do miss it. I must say, I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who's actually contacted me and wondered where I was. So, um, here I am making a video. There we are, just sort of ink around the edge a little bit. Okay, so that's quite nice, isn't it? So, on this one, what I did do as well, actually, I, I cut out um with the same Sizzx die little fabric hearts um not fabric this is like a piece of curtain actually this is some fabric and it cuts it out really well so that's really nice and that's a lay another piece of curtain fabric so what i did i just wrinkled it all up so it makes it a bit shabby around the edges like that so it sort of phrases a little bit this is ideal fabric to do that with. And these are good if you're making the, the um, flowers where you, you burn the edges. Um, they wrinkle up really, really well. So that just sits on there like that. So it just gives it a nice little muted look, which is quite pretty, which I did. I think there's one under there. And here there's layers of bits there. So I'm gonna pop that one on there. And then I think what I will do, I'm running out of my glue as well, but I do have a supply coming soon. I think it'll be in a couple of weeks when my mother-in-law pops over. She's going to help me as well with um, doing my mum's house because it's very time consuming because I don't have any family here. It's very hard to do on my own and leave my mom and do everything um, but I must say my other half is fantastic um, so he's really really good okay let's carry on so what I'm going to do I'm just going to cut out just little odds you can use it with these with your like I said scrap fabrics so you just pop just cut little bits off and have a nice little bit of shiny satiny piece here I think so that can just sit down there here. Needs to be quite close to the edge. What else can we have? A piece of this one in the top. Like so. And then a little bit of this cheese coffee muslin stuff on here. Oops. So you just layer up just all your little odd bits of fabric, oops, and then 
that just goes underneath so you've got this really nice little shabby layer of bits and pieces so what I'm going to do is take these off add a little bit of glue down Use whatever glue you want. Sorry, it's a bit. The lighting is not right. Not very good here today, is it? So let's stick these down. Put that one on. I think I need a lamp coming from the other side as well. Tiny bit of glue there. layering it all up like that and then what I'm going to do pop a little bit of glue down through the middle pop that on there so it sits oops, hold it down for a second there we go so then if you don't glue it all down you can sort of like see all these like layers and come up look I think it looks really nice, but if you don't like that, you can stick it all down quite flat. Um, but I quite like the, the shabbiness of it. And then let me just put the lid on that. And what I need to do is take a piece of backing card. Um, so on the back of it, I'm just going to just ink it a little bit. Like so. And then we'll get a paper clip, pop that on there, and then we just need to glue the back. And make sure that's stuck down nicely. Okay, and then put onto the back of here. Make sure that's in the middle. Squash it all down. And there we go. Pretty. And what you can do, there's another one of these little flowers here, look. One of my little um, fabric flowers, which I've actually made from this one which is so pretty, isn't it? Little odds that I had left over. So what I'm going to do, I'll make a piece of this. Squatch it around a little bit. Maybe it's too big. Oops. Pop that down on there. Oops. You can see it's coming to the end of the glue because it's goes all gloopy and funny. So I stick that down like that. And there we go. And I think these look just so pretty on the top of your your um, journals or if you're making the envelopes, the um, embellished envelopes, these are lovely little addition to those. And there we go, you've got a little, little paper clip on the back. So I thought they were really, really pretty. There we go guys, it's a very, very quick one, um, just to show you that I am still here, um, still making things, still tiddling about, but it's just getting the time to um, show you um, embellishments and showing you what I'm doing. So I hope you like that um, and a big, big thank you as well to everybody that's um, inquired about me and my mum. Um, I really, really do appreciate it and everything so far is going okay. Um, it's just time. It just takes time to do things now. Um, so there we are. Okay guys, well thank you very much for watching. I hope you all had a lovely, lovely Easter weekend and I will see you very soon hopefully. Alright, take care. Bye bye.